Welcome to what some consider the future of film, Canada's first 4DX theater. More than just 3D, in this theater, the seats shake, rattle, and roll. We're given a personal preview of some of the environmental effects, including fog. Yeah, that, 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 that worked. Yeah. Rain. <laughs> Whoa. And even snow. There you go. There you go. Not bad. So imagine if you're watching a movie, this yes. really brings you into the action on the screen. But some filmmakers think cinemas need better stories, not weather effects. 15 bucks a ticket? Well, you better give me a product worth seeing. And I promise you getting wind blown at me is not going to make it justified. We're talking about technology surpassing storytelling. And I mean, I'm afraid that long term, that is probably not going to have a happy ending. And yet the fans at this 40X Rogue One screening felt differently. It's kind of fun. It can be distracting, but, uh, but it is neat. It just makes you feel like you're really there, like just from the start. I really liked it. It was a really good experience. So I, like, I'm literally going to go see it again the next showing. And that's the goal. With box office growth slowing, consumers are spending more time at home streaming movies or playing video games. When we do get off the couch, we're looking for something memorable. More and more consumers, particularly millennials, you know, they want to have uh, more experiences. They want to spend more on experiences than they do on physical goods. 4DX is just part of a new wave of movie theater gimmicks. In fall, Cineplex launched Barco Escape Theaters with wrap-around screens. In November, director Ang Lee tried releasing Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk in a special high frame rate format, but it flopped. But with options for audiences to stay at home only increasing, gimmicks such as 4DX show no signs of fading away. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.